Hello and welcome to another episode of Mechanic Base Educational Videos. Today we're going to discuss one of the most common and annoying codes of them all, the dreaded P040 code. A generic description for this code is Catalyst System Efficiency Below Threshold Bank 1. As you probably already know, this will set the check engine light on, but in most cases won't cause any other issues. This is why some of you will just choose to ignore it, while others will be annoyed by its presence. But I'm sure that all of you will want to know what's causing it and more importantly how to get rid of it, which is something we will cover in this video. But before we do that, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification button to get all the latest updates from our channel. What does this code mean? Although the catalytic converter is a simple device, issues related to it are oftentimes misdiagnosed, resulting in unnecessary repairs and unwanted expenses. To avoid this, we will first explain how this emission control component works, which in the end will help you track down the issue. The catalytic converter is, in essence, a canister with a dense honeycomb-like mesh inside. This mesh is covered with a thin layer of precious materials such as rhodium and platinum, called catalyst. As raw exhaust gases, which are coming from the engine, pass through the honeycomb, they react with catalyst and become less harmful. Hence the name catalytic converter. Additionally, almost every car today has two sensors near the catalytic converter. One that is between the engine and the converter is called the upstream oxygen sensor. Its job is to analyze the content of raw exhaust gases, which vehicle ECU then uses to adjust the air-fuel mixture for optimum performance. The other one, which is located behind the catalytic converter, is called, unsurprisingly, the downstream sensor. The only purpose of this sensor is to determine if the catalytic converter is working as it should. So, let's check how this looks in real life under the hood of a random vehicle. At this side of the engine, we will easily spot the catalytic converter as a part of the exhaust manifold. On its top side, we can see an upstream oxygen sensor. There is also a downstream sensor behind the converter, although it is hard to spot it from here. However, the exact position and shape of catalytic converters and corresponding sensors differ depending on the vehicle. If you're having trouble finding these components, go to our site and leave us a question. The link to our community forum is in the description. Now, let's see what are the possible causes. First, let's start with the most evident of them all, the catalytic converter itself. These components are robust and built to last, although things like improper fuel or engine issues can significantly shorten their lifespan. But even under ideal conditions, the catalytic converter will wear out or fall apart at one point, especially at high mileage. Still, as this is an expensive component, you should check everything else before deciding to change it. Next, if your engine burns too much fuel or oil, it will clog up the catalytic converter. This happens because unburned particles cover the honeycomb inside the converter, preventing the catalytic process. Luckily, this buildup can be cleaned, but before that, you must fix the engine issue that initially created the problem. Sometimes, this can be as simple as using low-quality fuel or incorrect oil. The next in line of suspects is the oxygen sensor, especially the downstream one. With time, it can become dirty and covered with layers of soot. This offsets its readings, which is something the car interprets as the catalytic converter failure. It will be the same if the sensor's wiring is damaged or the connector is loose or corroded. Next stop, any leaks before or near the catalytic converter will cause incorrect readings, which is something the vehicle will once again see as a catalytic converter issue. The two most common things that cause such leakage are cracked exhaust manifolds and leaks between exhaust pipes. Lastly, you may have an engine issue. A malfunctioning thermostat will cause all sorts of emission control codes, with P0420 being the most common. 
If stuck in a wide open position, it will prevent the engine from reaching running temperatures. In addition, things like engine misfire or a faulty MIF sensor may have a similar effect. Now, let's see what simple solutions are available. There is more than one way of accurately pinpointing what's causing the P0420 error code. But before going through them, I would like to show you several simple tricks. First, there are all sorts of catalytic converter cleaner fluids, which you can buy at any gas station or parts store. Pour this liquid into the tank and then take your car for a drive, preferably on the highway. If your catalytic converter is clogged up with oil or unburned fuel, this will help dissolve these buildups. Depending on the condition, you may have to repeat this procedure several times until the converter is entirely cleaned. The next thing you can try is cleaning the downstream oxygen sensor. This is the one located just behind the catalytic converter and on most cars it will be located somewhere underneath the vehicle. Take it off using a suitable socket or wrench and then clean it thoroughly. The best way of doing this is by leaving it to soak in gasoline for several hours. This will dissolve dirt buildups that may have accumulated inside the sensor over the years. Still, while doing this, make sure the sensor's wiring is not submerged in the gasoline. Lastly, assuming these cleaning methods haven't helped, you can install a spark plug non-fouler. This is a simple metal adapter, which you will fit between the downstream oxygen sensor and exhaust. By doing so, you will offset its reading and trick the vehicle into thinking the catalytic converter is working well. Still, although this trick will turn off the P0420 code, its usage may be illegal in some states. In addition, your car will pollute more than it should, which is more harmful to the environment. This is why we don't recommend this method, but it's your car and it's totally up to you. Lastly, let's go over diagnosis. If none of the quick solutions haven't been successful, you will have to look into the problem more closely. Start by connecting your car to the scan tool and checking the live data. Find the voltages for the upstream and downstream oxygen sensor and observe their values. With the engine, Warmed up and running, the upstream sensor should go up and down depending on the engine speed. On the other hand, the downstream oxygen sensor should give a steady reading of half a volt. Next, check the exhaust manifold and pipes between the engine and the catalytic converter for leakage. If cracked or broken, they will allow a certain amount of exhaust gases to escape before reaching the catalytic converter. In most cases, smoke or traces of black soot will give away an exact leak spot. The downstream oxygen sensor is, in most cases, located somewhere underneath the vehicle. At this position, sensor wiring can get damaged by raw debris or moisture. If getting unusual readings from your scan tool, you should double check them by measuring the actual values from the sensor with a multimeter. In addition, make sure the connector is not loose and without any traces of corrosion. And if suspecting your catalytic converter is causing the issue, you could try verifying that with an infrared thermometer gun. This is because the temperature of exhaust gases drops as they go through the catalytic converter. So, while the engine is running and warmed up, Check the temperatures just before the catalytic converter and then behind it. If there is no significant difference between the two, the honeycomb inside the catalytic converter has fallen apart. That's it. Now you should know how to deal with the P0420 code and solve the problem. If this helped you with your car, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. But if you didn't, there might be something else that is causing the issue. To continue troubleshooting, visit our site mechanicsbase.com and leave us a question. The link to the community will be in the description.